Hi everyone, today we are going to learn and understand how is working Config Connector from Google Cloud and if this is a tool that for example can replace Terraform. But let's start from the beginning. Config Connector is a Kubernetes add-on that allows to manage and create objects in Google Cloud using Kubernetes components. For example, when we want to create a PubSub message queue in our Google Cloud account, instead to use Terraform or Google Cloud deployment, we can use Config Connector to create an object like that. And to do that, we only need to create an object like the one that you can see on the screen with an API version that will be connected to Google Cloud Code, a kind PubSub topic, messages, the label and the name. Then you only need to execute kubectl apply and in few seconds your PubSub message queue will be created and working. This really sounds super cool and if you want to deploy all the infra in your company, you only need to have a Helm chart to deploy everything. So if you want to see what is the infra that you deploy, for example, you only need to execute a kubectl command. But let's see if everything is so beautiful. We are going to start with a chicken and egg issue. If we want to deploy all our infrastructure with config connector, we currently need to have already infrastructure deployed because we need a Kubernetes cluster deployed and working. And in our case, it's going to be a GKE Kubernetes cluster. So we need to decide how to deploy this cluster. For example, with Terraform. So we end now with a problem. First, we create the GCP project, service account, AIN, and GCS bucket word to deploy the Terraform state files. Later on, we use Terraform to deploy our GKE Kubernetes cluster. After that, we need to set up the components to be able to use Config Connector, like a Config Connector object in our Kubernetes cluster. And now, we can use Helchar to deploy our infrastructure. There is another known problem that is related to the way that Config Connector update parameters. Normally, when you are working with whatever other infrastructure as a code, like Terraform, when you modify some parameters in a currently deployed object, you only need to apply new code to see how the changes are there. But Config Connector is not working in this way always. In Config Connector, we have something called immutable fields. And are really immutable fields. That means that if you want to modify one of those fields, you have two options. First, you can delete the object in case that is not in use and recreate the object. And this is an issue because if the object is blocked, can be removed in Kubernetes because point to an object in Google Cloud and will end in a state called delete fail. The second way to do that is a funny way because as soon as you change an immutable field, Kubernetes object will be blocked and will end in a state called update fields. So we have a cool technology, but with some problems that make not valid for production, at least in my opinion. We have a technology that maybe needs to be revisited, but we need to understand that trying to fight against Terraform or Ansible sometimes is hard and difficult.